Yet another record number of migrants have crossed the channel in a 30% rise from this time last year. More than 6,000 have already arrived in 2024. Thought they were stopping the boats. That's right. So joining us now in the studio is our Home Security Editor, Mark White. Um, this, uh, give us a bit more detail, Mark, of these numbers. Well, they're certainly not stopping the boats, to answer Andrew's question. Mm. 534 people crossed illegally yesterday in 10 small boats. That is the uh, single biggest daily total this year, and it takes the number to more than 6,200 for the year so far, which, to put that in context, is just under 30% up on where we were at the same point last year. Now, you remember last year the government was... Uh, trumpeting quite widely how their policies were working in terms yeah. of having a deterrent effect on the small boats crossing. It was down, they said, uh, significantly last year, down by a third. Well, that has been cancelled out effectively by what we're seeing now. And we know it was, it was nothing to do with government. It was to do with the weather. That's Everybody, why the numbers were down. Everybody that we ever speak to that is an expert on the maritime environment <laughs> in the English Channel says yeah. it's to do with the weather. And the government can say, as they did last year, oh, well, actually, the number of days when it was feasible to cross were the same. What we heard from the migrants who we spoke to regularly throughout the course of last year is, no, the weather has been too rough to push these boats mm -hmm. out into the English Channel. So, of course, this news could not come at a worse possible time yeah. for the government as, again, the Rwanda bill is back in the Commons. And there's a lot of Tory MPs, a lot of Tories I know think the Prime Minister should just get on with this election early because if these boats continue to pour across the Channel throughout the summer, that's going to make him look more weak, more hopeless, another target not achieved and could become a real issue come the next general election. I if, think if that's... We wait until October, November. I think that's a very pertinent point. You know, they might be able... Well, they will get the Rwanda bill through, sure. but will it then be challenged in court? Do you get bogged down by more in the way of lengthy legal action? Human rights. And then there's, then there's a great unknown. OK, they were, you know... In last year, right, in that it was done by a third. Yeah. Whatever the reasons underlying that uh, reduction were, what about the year ahead? They don't know. It's the great unknown. Yeah. And if suddenly we have a record year, it absolutely makes a mockery of Rishi Sunak's boast of being able to get control and stop the boats coming across. They got the numbers down from Albania because they did a deal with Albania. But it's not working anywhere else. Well, even that isn't all it uh, yeah, is, it um, is, you know, pur pur purported to be. Um, because although Albanians are not coming on the small boats anymore, what we're told is that they're coming in lorries and they're being picked up oh. by lorry drivers who are being bribed by these criminal gangs. They're being picked up in Eastern Europe and then they're taken to northern France where they cross either by ferry uh, or in, you, through the Channel Tunnel mm. in the backs of these lorries. So they're still coming uh, to join in criminal activity here to work in construction sites or whatever they might be doing. Um, but, yes, are not coming by boat. Mm. OK. A disaster, Thank it? you, Mark. Uh, lots of you getting in touch about this at home. Nick says, I don't understand why the Rwanda deal is still being pursued. I'm sure I read that for every migrant we, immigrant we send there, we have to accept one of their troubled migrants being sent to us in exchange. Why would we want to do that?